So we're hitting a transition here. You know, you're coming at the end of the forest and uh, I'm gonna get off the river trail. I wanna see, well, I'm gonna see where this road goes. I mean, this might be another parking area where you don't have to pay to pick up the, uh, the uh, well, I guess you would call it the, the Aqua River Trail on Sunny Hillside. So let's, uh, let's just see where this goes. See now, now up until this point, the hike, uh, it's, uh, it was a nothing burger, you know, mainly looking at docks and, uh, and then the tree line kind of thinned out and there was a, some pretty dilapidated houses in there on the left-hand side. And so you didn't really get the feel like you're back in the forest, but now, now, now I'm getting the feel of, of being back here. I like it. So, unfortunately, all I have is a walking stick. <laughs> I didn't bring, didn't bring the bear spray because I figured I'd just be hiking along the river. Uh, like I said, the hike you get is not always the hike, or the hike you think you're going to do is not the hike you get. That's, the, that's my saying on a lot of videos. So, to get off of the beaten track there, uh, this is, uh, yeah, you feel like you're back in here now? All right, cool. Let's see where this goes. So I thought I'd get this on the video because it is unique. Looks like they're doing some maintenance here to get to that uh, dock down there. I'm not gonna go up on that dock, but I am gonna go out on this dock and I wanna give you a panoramic view of, the, uh, of what I'm seeing here. It's quite beautiful. I got the, the stick as long as I can get it. So let's get it get it up pretty high. I'm looking forward to seeing that myself. So I just wanted to show you. So I've come down that road right there. And uh, here's the gate. I'm going to try to follow this and see where this is. Because this would be the place to park to avoid that fee. Because, you know, I like to come back here quite often. I don't want to keep paying for it. So I'm going to try to see where this comes out. And it seems to me you could pull a car in right here and just park back in here. So let's see where this goes. So and I don't see any signs that say private property or anything like that. So I do believe I'm still in the restoration area, even though there is a fence along here. And you can see there's a trailer in the woods back there. So uh, we'll just stay on the road. Now there was horse poo. So this is, uh, this is probably where they bring the horses in. So that they could either ride the horse back here or uh, drive him back here. But you can see it looks like some vehicles have been through here. So, I don't know. Well, it is private property to the right. You can see that. So, but I'm, I'm not on their property. And, you know, so I wouldn't want to go through that gate right there. <laughs> well, let's see where this goes. Uh, maybe this would be a place where we can pick up the, uh, the river trail and uh, not have to park there at the diner or even at Moss Bluff. Oh, you gotta love Florida, man. Don't get no more uh, explicit than that. No trespassing, private property, keep out. All trespassers will be shot on sight, you have been warned. So I don't think I would go, go, go past that gate, but more or less just walking next to something that got a, look like, looks like an ATV over here to my right on with some trailers. I don't know if that's a trailer park or a place to camp, I don't know. Just gonna keep going on this road because I gotta get see where it goes. So the road came out at uh, Southeast 160 176 Court Road and Southeast 95th Street Road, and of course the address is 9800. I'm not sure if that's 9800 160 176 Court Road or Southeast. But I'm gonna walk down and see what this church is down here. Because I'm not sure, I think 
think this, this this road just goes down to that blinking light down there at Moss Bluff. I'm in Moss Bluff. I did talk to a gentleman. Very interesting conversation. Uh, he was giving me uh, a lot of Florida lore. There was some berries that you can pick to rub on you to, to keep the bugs off. I, I don't know what they were. I'll have to Google it when I get home. And then um, they said soaking your feet in vinegar if you got athlete's foot will uh, will work to uh, to get it. Uh, what was the other thing? He said buy some. Um, I guess you can get it at the uh, um, at the drugstore. I guess it's called sulfur powder. It says put that around the top of your socks and around your waistline when you're hiking in the Aqua Forest to keep the wood ticks off. But let's see what this uh, building is right here, and I'll get the address and uh, and then you can plug that into the GPS to find that uh, that road right there. Um, now the, the road uh, to me is I'm not I wouldn't take my uh, Prius Prime down that road. Let's just put it that way. I'd I would definitely do a, do you want an SUV or a pickup truck or, a, or in my case, you know, I'll, I'll just take the motorcycle down there because mine's an ADV. You know. It is a little sandy though at the beginning, huh? so, but I, you can, looks to me like you can ride on the grass and, uh, and that ADV will go down that road just fine. But let's see what this says right up here. So this is the uh, Moss Bluff Baptist Church. Uh, share Jesus' birthday with this children's party following service. And then it, another identifying marker is it's right next to a graveyard. And this is uh, Southeast 180th Avenue Road. So, uh, just, so just down from that uh, entrance to the Sunny Hill area is the graveyard. And then they got the cross up here that's lit up. Very nice. So let's, uh, let's get back on the trail. I'm just going to hike on back at this point. So if I think of something to, to say, I'll say it. Uh, I guess just don't trespass anywhere around here. And by the way, the people on that, uh, they were giving me all of the Florida lore. He was, says he's a, he was a cattleman. Back in the 60s, he used to, to uh, herd cattle. Uh, didn't even know that. And then uh, he, he was one of the ones, uh, he guess he worked for Disney for a while. And uh, Disney, you know, those, those used to be huge uh, uh, cow plains or cow pastures. And uh, they had to herd all of the uh, cattle off of that land for Disney so that they could build uh, Disney. And then he said he worked on Mickey Mouse. So that was an interesting conversation. And uh, I uh, appreciated the Florida lore about the, the sulfur powder and the, uh, the vinegar. And uh, he, had, so he had some other things that he told me. Oh, I forgot uh, for fungus, he said embalming fluid. Just it's sprinkle in your, in your bathtub or whatever. Didn't want to tell him I don't have it, but I guess he had. I'm not sure I, I go, I'll go with that one, but <laughs> Florida man, Florida man, does whatever a Florida can. Okay, so uh, that solved that mystery. Got to go back and put my dollar in the post. Uh, I'll do the mantra once I'm back on the trail and we got something nice to look at. So I just came down that road and there's the farm. That's a farm right there. I thought it was a trailer park. I guess those are the hands that work on that farm. Um, she's got, uh, I think she said four horses. Um, but anyway, could bring a, a vehicle and park it here. But I've, you know, I, I, I'm going to come down here with my motorcycle. And uh, man, I could just hold it up right here because you don't want to block the gate, you know, in case the, the either the maintenance crews come in here or they want to open that gate probably to get the horses through because. Well, I guess a horse could probably fit through right here. I don't know. Um, anyway, the guy told me a story. I, you know, I'll take him at his word. Um, he said that uh, the reason why the uh, section of the Florida Trail from um, uh, 314 to 40 is not maintained uh, is, uh, number one, it gets very little use. And number two, uh, he said that um, somebody released some panthers back in there. And... Uh, I, I, I assume he, there was another portion of the Akala National Forest that the, the panthers are supposed to be in. Uh, I, I, I've never heard about that, but uh, I, you know, he's a native, um, knew a lot about Florida. And uh, so I tell you, you, you if you're gonna hike that, uh, well, number one, I, I'd like to find somebody to hike it with me if they ever cut it again. I'm sure they will by the end of the winter. And number two, uh, I'm gonna be packing heat for that section of the trail for sure and any 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 further anywhere along that section of the florida trail i'll be packing heat you know and uh, not only heat but bear spray also 
Um, and uh, he said that's an old wives' tale about spraying vinegar on your pants legs to uh, keep the, to the wood ticks off. And so I don't know. I thought I read that somewhere online. I'm, I'm going to study all this uh, when I get home. So let's do the mantra as we get back onto the road. And uh, I'm heading back. Uh, freedom! Oh, freedom! Good to live in the free Republican state of Florida where we have no jabs, no mask requirements, no mandates, and we are free to come and do as we please and work wherever we want to work because our economy is booming. Woohoo! So I don't know if you can see those power lines off in the distance. But anyway, we just like that road right there. That's the first road you come to. I'm going to go, it's such a beautiful day. I'm going to go just a little further. I'll hate myself for it because then I got to hike all the way back to the car at the damn diner. But uh, anyway, it was a couple of things that popped into my head. This is going to be a uh, two part video, no doubt about it. But uh, anyway, I was watching the, uh, the Rubin report on YouTube and uh, he's had a, like a three part series. Well, and I wish I could remember the guy's name. It's a black guy. He's running for uh, governor in Texas as a Republican. And man, I wish you could hear him speak. He is one sharp individual. If, if Texas can get him as a governor, then uh, they're, they're going to be they're going to be doing well. Just like uh, he might even be better than Abbott, you know. And that's the one thing I didn't really understand. If maybe Abbott's uh, he's served out two terms and he can't run again. I don't I don't know what the situation is in Texas. If you do. Uh, Leave a comment below and explain it to me. But uh, anyway, he, <laughs> he, and I've thought about this a whole lot because, you know, I'm here in Florida and the whole damn world's moving here. And uh, he, he named it and I thought it was a good name for it. He says it's called the locust effect. He says the, the Democrats, uh, they screw up where they live, like San Francisco or New York City. He says, and then they move back out. And they move into the Republican states, like in, because you know, how do you explain Austin, Texas, being a Democrat city, for example? You know, Texas used to be deep, deep red, you know, but all the the Democrats brought their politics with them to Texas, and uh, almost turned the state blue, you know. So uh, he says, so that they're like locusts. He says they just move from place to place and screw up wherever they go. <laughs> I thought that was, I was laughing at what he was talking about. That now he wasn't trying to be funny. He was being serious about it. He said that's the locust effect. That's what we what we call it in Texas. So anyway, I just thought I'd point out that. Uh, if you're in Texas and you watch any of my videos, which probably not, but uh, that black guy, he's, he'll be a good governor for sure. I'm just going a ways down. Now, the woman told me that up this way, there's, a, um, there's another road that goes across the, uh, the prairie. And uh, so that would be interesting. And so what I want to do is bring my bike and mountain bike it again, except from the bluff side or from that, uh, well, I can't bring it. Yeah, I've had to have to start at the bluff and then uh, and then hit all the way up to that road. And instead of uh, just staying along the river like I did the last time coming from the Blue House, um, we'll just go down that road, see where it goes, see if we can find a little bit better entrance to the, uh, the river trail here than that one was back there because uh, I couldn't bring my Prius Prime down that road. No way, no how. So I couldn't bring my bike in there. Now the motorcycle, I could bring it down that road, but I, I'm not sure the locals would like me coming down that road on, on, a, on a motorcycle, even though it's pretty quiet. I don't think they'd bother me or anything, but uh, who knows? They might not like it because I doubt many people even know that road exists. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna turn around here. We got a boat coming, check him out. Wouldn't that be fun, boating along the river? Man, I bet there's some good fishing in there. Holy moly. All right. Peace out. That's it for this video. Like I said, it'll be two parts and uh, stay free. So I thought you might want to see this as I said, on the video, the water coming out of the dam. Didn't get that on the way out. Anyway, the sun is setting over here. And this is the, this is the reason, people, I want you to understand why I come out in the evenings to go hiking. You know, or later in the day, usually about 3 o'clock. I meant to get home in the evenings. Number one, I love sunsets much more than sunrises. I don't know why. 
Um, maybe it's because I work nights most of my life. The other part that I like is look, when I got here, what, three o'clock or 2.30 or whatever time it was, um, this place was, was humming. Must have been 15 cars in the parking lot. <clears throat> look, one truck, that's it. And we're gonna hit two other parking lots on the way back and I'll show you what it's like in the evenings. That's why I'm gonna show you the parking lot at the uh, Oklahoma River. I bet it'll be empty. And then we'll hit Chernobyl. And I bet that'll be empty and that'll be it for the day. But I just wanted to show you, see? Now look at all that litter. There was a whole mess of kids and a family that was there. And look at that. They, they left something back behind for people to pick up. Mighty nice of them. You know, nice enough people, but come on, man. You know, it's about like Sonic Joe Biden. Come on, man. Here's a view of the river from the other side of the, the bridge. Whew. Didn't want to jump off this bridge. Unless you want to break a leg or try to kill yourself. All right, let's keep on going. Uh -oh. Looks like the diner opened up. That's not good. Hope you don't know that one. Although they did tell me in the past that I could park there. So I'm hiking back to my car. Just wanted to show you the elephants here. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, that is cool, isn't it? Another person here getting a film of the elephants. I thought maybe it was the owner of that house back there. All right. See, this is what I'm talking about in the evenings. Now, there's never hardly anybody here, even during the day, but not a single car, you know? Beautiful trail. The trail kind of goes through the woods. There's a picnic table over here. This is the, uh, this is the Aquahaw Prairie Restoration Area, south, uh, south trailhead. So, anyway, let's keep going up to Chernobyl. I'll show you that parking lot. It'll be empty, too. See what I'm talking about? It's in the evening. This is the Aqua Prairie Rest of Chernobyl Memorial Forest. Not a car. Not a single car. Well, you know why I hike in the evenings, people. <laughs> 